today we are going to learn how to writing a chemical equation so first thing what is the chemical equation in the last video i explained what is a chemical equation so the representation of a chemical reactions in a condensed form using the chemical formula is called as the chemical equation now for writing a chemical equation what we are uh, consider this one is a very important topic it is asked in your exam for 3 marks so what is asked write the steps writing a chemical equation so here mostly we have to consider the six point now come to the first point in a chemical equation the reactants are written on the left hand side and the while the products on the right hand side and a arrow heading towards the product is drawn in the between them this arrow indicates the directions of the reactions so in the first point left hand side we write the reactant and the right hand side we write the product in between them there is a arrow and the arrow is a indicates the what directions of the reactions so this is a what first point now come to the second point if the reactants or product are the two or more they are linked with the plus sign in between them so in the reactions if the two reactant or two product so in between them what we have to use only plus sign so here copper sulfate and the zinc in between them plus sign similarly a plus sign is a drawn in between the product that is a what zinc sulfate and the copper now come to the next that is the third point to make the chemical equation more informative the physical state of the reactant are indicates in the equation their gaseous liquid and the solid states are indicated by writing the letter so for the gaseous we are writing the small g for the liquid we are writing the l and for the solid we have to write the s now respectively in the brackets moreover if the upwards if the product formed is the insoluble solid in the form of a precipitate then and products are in the form of a solution in the water they are said to be the present in the aqueous solution state this state is indicated by putting the letter aqueous in the bracket after their formula so if the in a product form from the gas we are using the what upward arrow and if the product form insoluble solid in the form of a precipitate so we are using the arrow pointing downwards so that indicate that means what precipitate it is a form and if the arrow is a upward that means what form gaseous gas is the form now come to the next here third point to make the in a third point fourth point is a what when a heat is to be given from outside bring about the reactions is indicated by the sign delta that means what if we apply any heat so that means we are the represented by what delta so written above the arrow that indicates the directions of the reactions now see the example this is a calcium carbonate this is a solid here what delta delta means what we are applying the heat and this is the arrow this is the product form calcium oxide that is a what solid 
प्लस कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड गैस दिस इज अ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड दिस इज अन द सी द एरो सो दिस इज अ वॉट गैस एंड दिस इज अ सॉलिड फॉर्म एंड द दिस वन इज द एरो एंड द अप द एरो वी आर शोन द डेल्टा सो डेल्टा वॉट इज अ इंडिकेट बाय द डेल्टा दैट मीन्स वॉट वी आर अप्लाइंग द हीट नाउ कम टू द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट Similarly, the fact that heat is uh, released during the reactions between the aqueous solution of a copper sulfate and the zinc dust is uh, indicated as follows. That means here in this reaction, see copper sulfate react with the zinc. So copper sulfate is a uh, aqueous. So A Q we retain. Zinc is a solid. So S is retained. Now this is the arrow. Zinc sulfate that is a uh, aqueous solution plus copper we get. the what in the solid form and plus heat so here what heat is the release now come to the next very important that is a fifth point the reaction it is a very necessary to what some factor some conditions that one is a very necessary for example temperature pressure catalyst so temperature pressure catalyst are indicated below or above the arrow indicating the directions of the reactions now see the example here in the example vegetable oil it is a what liquid form now react with the hydrogen this is a gaseous form now this is a shown the what arrow now this is a temperature 60 centigrade this is a nickel that is a catalyst what we get vanaspati ghee that is a what solid form now come to the next six point that one is a last point this is the special information or names of a reactants products are written below their formula for example copper on the reactions with the concentrated nitric acid gives the reddish color poisonous nitrogen dioxide gas so this is a copper copper react with the 4 hno3 so what we will get copper nitrate aqueous solution plus 2 no2 that is a what nitric acid plus h2o is form the product so this six steps are the very important to writing the chemical equation now thank you very much